Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today's video is going to be a pantry clean and organize with me and I'm going to be taking you through the entire process of cleaning out my messy pantry and then also a few other cabinets in our kitchen that we use for pantry like items. And today's video is also sponsored by Cricut and I'm going to be sharing my Cricut Joy and how I use it to make labels for some of my new bins that I got. Now I have done some pantry organization videos in the past and they were mostly used with Dollar Tree products. So if you're looking for a way to do it on a budget, then definitely go check out those videos. I'll link them below. But today I'm gonna be using some new bins that I got off of Amazon and they are a little pricier than the Dollar Tree ones, but they are also more sturdy and durable. So as you can see, my pantry is kind of small, so we actually use several different cabinets here in the kitchen for the rest of our pantry-like items, and it's just become a big mess, and we can't get to a lot of the stuff that we use often, so I'm gonna be rearranging and then also reorganizing a lot of this stuff. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is take everything out of the pantry and I'm gonna just start here first, reorganize this whole pantry, and then I will actually go to the other cabinets. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because when I think about a huge project, I get overwhelmed. So if I can just focus on one space at a time, then I usually get through it quicker. And then when I see the results, I'm motivated to keep going and get on with the next project or the next space. Now throughout the video, you're gonna see I got lots of new bins off of Amazon and all of them were the M Design brand. I actually got some a while back when I was reorganizing my kitchen and I love their products, so that's what I went with. And I will actually link all of the products that I'm using in today's video. I have some that I'm just reusing that I've already had and then I have a lot of bins that I purchased to reorganize the pantry spaces. Now that all my pantry items are organized into bins, I'm actually pulling out my Cricut Joy so I can make some labels for those bins. And you guys, if you have never heard of the Cricut Joy or never have used one, this little thing is amazing. So as you can see, the Cricut Joy is really small, so I was actually able to just bring it in the kitchen and work straight from there. And then in that little basket, I also got a new container. Um, for all of my Cricut Joy accessories. So everything in this little container goes with my Cricut Joy. And so what I'm gonna do is actually use this to make the labels that are gonna be, I'm just doing the draw and write labels for my pantry bins. And I'm gonna do everything from my cell phone. If you have an iPhone, 
there is an app for the Cricut Joy and you can literally just go straight onto the app and these are labels that are already made you can choose from. So I'm just looking at the different ones and I wanted one that was printable and then it would cut around the label so I could just use it like a sticker. So it was super simple. So I picked this label and then now I'm just putting in what I want my labels to say. Now, if you are not an iPhone user, they don't have an app for the other phones yet, but you can still do all of this straight from your computer with the Cricut Joy 2. All right, so once you have all your labels that you want, you're just going to go through and it's gonna give you all the instructions. You can actually change the font if you want to. And so there it's giving me like a little preview of what it's gonna look like. And then they have a bunch of fonts that you can go through and just kind of change those up if you want. I don't wanna waste my time. So baby, we should start living now. Now that I have my labels exactly how I want them, I am ready to print and cut. So it asks me what material I'm using and I'm using the Smart Label Writable Vinyl. So I'm gonna select that and then it's gonna actually tell me what I need to do as I go through the whole cutting process. So the first thing I do is load in my vinyl and then it's also asking me to put in the pen because it's going to actually draw the labels first and then once it's done drawing all the labels, it tells me to stop take out the pen and load in the cutting tool next so that way it can cut around my labels. Now for this project, I went with the quick labels that were already made in the app so that way I didn't have to do a whole lot of designing myself and it just made the project super quick and easy. But if you were looking to make your own custom designs and things like that, you can still do that in the Cricut design space and then use the Cricut Joy to do all your cutting and printing and all of that. So if you are looking to do a bunch of organization projects around your house or even some little DIYs, maybe some greeting cards, things like that, then I highly, highly recommend the Cricut Joy. It would be an awesome Christmas gift if you're looking for something like this. And then of course, I also have the Cricut Maker. If you've seen some of my previous videos, then you probably see me do a ton of DIYs with that as well. So I love both of these Cricut machines. They're amazing and I will actually leave a link to both of those machines down in the description box in case you wanna check those out. Now that my labels are done printing, I just switched out the pen for the cutting tool and it's just cutting around the labels so I can literally just peel this off like a sticker and stick it straight on my containers. And here I was just rubbing my finger across so you could see that the ink does not smear at all. It is the easiest project I have ever done with one of these machines, it's so cool. Now I'm gonna start putting everything back into the pantry since it's all organized into bins and the cereal containers I've actually had for a while. I love them. They are from Walmart, I think, and also the little cookie container is from Walmart too. I'll link those below. Now for this pantry, I decided to put all of the snack type items as well as anything that the kids might be grabbing um, in here and that's why I wanted to use labels too is because I'm hoping that with these labels It'll keep it organized much longer <laughs> And here I have this little rolling cart, which I have found to be the best for our canned goods. We don't have a ton of canned goods, so this actually works really well for us because we didn't have a lot of space in our other cabinets to put those. And then these two baskets here on the floor are more for overflow items. So I have one basket that's full of like condiments and also have cereal in that one. And then the other one has snacks that are already in bins up top. But once I start running low on those, I can just reach from those overflow bins and then refill those baskets. And here you can see how the labels look on the bins. I love how simple it looks. It was so quick and easy to do. And I just love the way it turned out. 
Stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready. Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. All right, now we're moving on to the other two cabinets and you're gonna see I end up flip-flopping a lot of the stuff in these cabinets just to make it work a little bit better for us. All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, na, 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 na Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love Oh, oh, na, na So here I have this little white container I I think I either got it from Walmart or Amazon. I'll find a link, but I love it for all the seasoning packets that we have. And here you can see we have so many different seasonings that we use. And I just didn't like it over here because it was really hard to pull these baskets out. You can see how deep these cabinets are. And so what I'm gonna do is go through, reorganize them, and I'm actually gonna put them above where the stove is in these new bins that I got from M Design. And I feel like it works so much better. Alright, so I got two of these little turntables from Walmart. They were super inexpensive. And then a few different M Design containers. These with the handles. And then these ones that also stack. So you can get several of these and they are stackable. And here I'm just kind of using the containers, making sure that they fit in these cabinets and rearranging them to see how I want to put them before I start putting anything inside of them. Now here on these turntables, I'm just putting our cooking sprays and oils and then also some bigger seasonings that we use pretty often when we're cooking. And I just love the way that this turned out. I feel like it's gonna be so much more convenient when we're reaching up into the cabinet to find things versus before where we just had everything just shoved in there and we had to pull things out to find others. And I don't know, I just think it works so good. Now I'm just going through all of my seasonings and organizing them into these bins with the handles. This is so much easier to pull out than the other ones that I had before. And as you can see here, I have a ton of spice jars that I had organized and put labels on and all of that for one of my previous pantry organization videos. But honestly, I hate refilling these things. So I decided I'm not gonna get more of those. I'm not gonna you know, worry about how pretty the jars are and everything. I'm just gonna get the spices from the grocery store and stick them in these bins and I'm gonna be okay with that. Looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Let me escape from my hideaway. I give up all of my little addiction, but I'm still stuck with some tough things. Now when I was organizing my spices, I noticed that I had double or triple of some of them. So what I'm doing is creating an overflow basket that's just for my spices and I'm writing down all the ones that I have extra of so that way when I run out of one, I can just look at my list and see if it's in our overflow bin.
So before I pulled everything out, these types of bins were actually in the cabinet that you just saw me organizing, but because I had to move up one of those shelves, I can't fit these in there anymore. And so I'm just gonna stick the, these in this other cabinet because it's a little bit deeper. I don't use these items nearly as much as the other ones. So it's really not gonna be a big deal when I have to pull one item out to get to the others. I also have on this top shelf a little organizer where I keep all my tin foil and cling wrap, things like that, and so it makes it easy for me to get to that. Now here in the rest of these containers, I've put items that mostly I cook with. Um, the one container on the middle shelf on the left it has peanut butter and honey and things like that, so the kids could still pull that out if they needed to get to it. But the rest of the stuff is mostly things that only I pull out or Chance will pull out to cook with. And here on this next shelf, I'm putting our stash of barbecue sauce that Chance got from a friend in the back because it's gonna be like an overflow for that. And then I have these baskets that I'm gonna use for fruits and vegetables, which we need to go grocery shopping so we don't have any to put in there yet. All right, so now all of my pantry stuff is organized and there on that top shelf I actually ended up leaving, we have our seasonal mugs up there because it's really hard for me to reach. I have to pull a chair or stool out to even get up there so I figured that was a good spot for that stuff and the rest of it I'm just it's so much more convenient to get to I love it I love how it turned out it feels so good to have this project done and I will actually snap some pictures and post them on Instagram because I know sometimes it's hard to see the whole overview of a project like this on a video. So if you want to go check out those pictures, make sure to go check out my Instagram account. And then of course, like I said, I will link everything that I use to organize these cabinets down in the description box. Also, don't forget to go check out the Cricut Joy linked in my description box if you're looking to do some organization projects. It is the easiest machine to use ever. I know you guys are going to love it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and seeing how I organized my pantry. I hope it maybe gave you some ideas or some inspiration to get some things checked off of your to-do list or get some projects done that you've been wanting to get done as well. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you guys have any spaces that you want to see organized or you need some inspiration for, let me know those spaces down in the comments and I will try to do some videos on that in the new year. I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!